a pleasure to be here with Rajesh Ayer, sir. Welcome to the Kolkata Literature Thank Festival. You. Today, you're going to be part of a session called Storied Lives, which is going to follow the launch of Gopinath Mohanty's book called Oblivion and Other Stories. Uh, those stories have been translated from Uriya into English. You've had a chance to read Mr. Mohanty's work. What have you made of it? What has stood out to you in terms of themes or in terms of the ideas? One of the things that actually comes across is the ethereal feel and, uh, and that transcends language. And that's exactly why we realize that the translations are so important in the facet. Irrespective of whichever language you transport, the kind of humaneness that uh, a writer portrays in any language, it gets translated and it connects to anybody across the world. So I guess that is one thing that connects to any story, especially the his stories. And the fact that this also uh, opens up a kind of vista when we translate into multiple languages. So primarily this collection is about short stories and most of us know Gopinath Mohanty as a writer of longer fiction, as a writer of novels. So could you maybe compare and contrast any of the features or differences you notice between his longer works and something like short stories which are more compressed, more synoptic? Uh, there isn't exactly uh, much but it's like I am saying, the human factor, factor that comes across, I think that is something very humanness that touches across in all the writing that he does. That's something that definitely connects and that's something that uh, makes it all the more uh, tempting for it to be translated into multiple languages. So I guess uh, the fact that he's actually portrayed that into, uh, you know, uh, that is transferable into multiple languages, not just in India, but across the world as well. So I guess that's the basic uh, structure of any stories and the stories that he's created is that uh, makes stands out. In, what do you make of the wave of translations that are happening, particularly into English? We have a lot of regional works by regional stalwarts that are recently being translated into English. What do you see this process as? Do you think that on the whole, this is a fantastic development for Indian literature? It is. It is. Not just, notwithstanding the fact that we are looking at a Booker Prize, but the fact of the matter is that I get to lead, read, uh, since I don't read more languages other than Hindi and English, I get to read so many very, uh, you know, um, cultural thing, ethos, which we don't understand. And uh, I think it's, it is open up a vista, which is such amazing. And I think it's tip of the iceberg, uh, realizing that uh, more and more translation are coming in. And uh, it's a serious, really an encouraging sign for Indian literature per se. And I think more literature, more translation from regional languages and languages which are not being retold in other languages, I think it has to come to fore. Wonderful. Thank you so much, sir. Have a great time at Kerala. Thank you.